Hey everyone, I'm Peter from Top Think, and today we're going to learn about the power of waking up early. Now, let's begin. A few years ago, biologists conducted a transformative study on the benefits of waking up early in the morning, discovering a number of shocking advantages that morning people have over night owls. The study investigated an important physical phenomenon called the circadian clock, a biological meter that cycles within our bodies every 24 hours. This clock affects when we are hungry, how fast our heart beats, and, of course, when our bodies are ready to sleep. As you can imagine, not everyone's clock looks exactly alike. We each have something called a chronotype, a unique schedule that determines the times when we are most likely to feel tired. Have you ever wondered why you start yawning a lot around 4 o'clock every day? Well, your unique chronotype is the reason why. So why am I telling you all this? Because those biologists, the ones who revealed some of the advantages of early risers, recognized that our circadian clock also tells us when we are most productive by pointing out two extreme time periods, which happen to affect every chronotype the same way. These periods are early morning around 5 a.m. and late evening around 9 p.m. Whether we have good sleeping habits or not, our body always treats these extremes the same way. One is for waking up and the other is for going to sleep. So, in order to take advantage of the many benefits of a biologically tuned sleeping schedule, you have to start by consistently waking up early. But what are those benefits? And does adjusting your sleep schedule really make that big of a difference? Biologists and psychologists have been testing the same exact questions for years, so I'm here to tell you about the amazing things they found. Number one, discipline. One of the most convincing pieces of evidence shows that early risers are, on average, significantly better at making and maintaining schedules because they have conditioned themselves to work harder and smarter than everyone else. For anyone that has actually tried to wake up at 5 a.m., it isn't hard to see why. No matter how used to it you are, it requires a remarkable amount of mental fortitude to avoid slamming your hand down on the snooze button. So, by consistently waking up at or before sunrise, you are honing a disciplined and organized mind. But there is one caveat. There are plenty of people in the world who get up this early because they have to. However, to maximize the benefits, you should be getting up extra early by choice. If you know that you could go back to sleep, yet still decide to wake up at 5 a.m. every day, you'll gain a unique, intrinsic discipline that can positively impact every facet of your life. Number 2. Proactivity a number of studies found that morning people are significantly better at anticipating problems and minimizing the amount of risk involved. These skills stem from two important observations about individuals who wake up early. They are more proactive in almost any situation and they report feeling more control over their personal and professional lives. These advantages allow early risers to operate with more confidence, free from the cloudiness of an anxious mind. Because waking up early increases both efficiency and spare time, they can focus better on their objectives while slowing down to consider new perspectives before making critical decisions. For the same reasons, morning people are also more likely to work outside of their comfort zones, feeling motivated and powerful when facing new challenges. Number three, stress reduction. The first hour or two of the day often sets the tone for the next 14. So, by allowing yourself extra time to complete a morning routine, you can mitigate the amount of extraneous mental stress you might experience throughout the day. Think about it like this. What sounds like a better way to start your morning? Slowly eating breakfast and taking a long, relaxing shower or rushing off without food just to sit in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Yes, these are two extreme scenarios, but this difference actually accounts for a significant disparity between the satisfaction levels of early risers and those of night owls. In fact, studies have found that early risers are generally more optimistic, agreeable, and conscientious, in addition to feeling more in control and ambitious. 
Night owls, on the other hand, tend to be creative and intellectual, but suffer from higher rates of pessimism, anxiety, and depression. This is because a relaxing, consistent morning routine de-stresses both the body and mind, allowing you to warm up for the day instead of just jumping headfirst into the chaos. Number four, inspiration. When building that stress-free morning routine, many psychologists recommend adding in something that inspires you, something that gets you motivated and excited to achieve. This is also a great way to get your mind going before you actually have to go to work or school, ensuring that you are ready to do your best work by the time you get there. But what are the best things to get inspired by? Well, the sources are unique to you, but you have to pick something that directly relates to your goals and challenges your thinking. Whether you like listening to informational podcasts, watching documentaries, or reading thrilling books, use these forms of inspiration to give your day direction. Remember to learn from whatever you're listening to. Don't just treat it like any other distraction. You can even combine your inspirational media with breakfast to stimulate your mind while nourishing your body. For those of you who find yourselves watching TV every time you eat, this can be a great alternative. Just make sure you're paying attention to portion size because consuming food while viewing media can lead to overeating. Number five, better sleep quality. How many times have you gotten excited to sleep in on the weekends using those late mornings to catch up on some much needed rest? The truth is that sleeping in doesn't really do you any favors because sleep quality has little to do with the actual volume of sleep. In fact, you might have noticed that you feel especially tired on days when you sleep for 9 or 10 hours. But how is that possible? Sleep quality is far more dependent on consistency, leaving you the most well-rested when you are able to maintain a regular sleep schedule. Because of that master biological clock, our body tries to physically prepare for periods of unconscious rest to ensure that we experience four full REM cycles, which takes about eight hours. So, whenever you stay up until 3 or 4 in the morning, you are making it much more difficult for your body to correctly anticipate and enter a deep sleep. For anyone that's pulled an all-nighter, you may have noticed that you were the most tired right before sunrise, then suddenly start to feel awake when you see the sunlight. Even though you haven't slept, the presence of light sends your brain a subconscious signal to wake up, even though you never actually slept. So, when you do try to fall asleep in the morning, your body will be confused and ill-prepared. Thankfully, you can avoid all this by maintaining the same 7-8 to eight hour schedule on weekends, allowing you to make the most of your free time instead of wasting it by sleeping too much. Number 6. Timing Nutrients I'm sure you've heard the saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But not many people actually know why. Eating a healthy breakfast provides your mind with the jump start it needs to tackle the rest of the day, supplying the energy necessary to focus and perform. Many people don't realize that the body still gets hungry while we sleep, even if we're just laying in one spot all night. When we wake up in the morning, we are essentially breaking a fast, so it is crucial to refuel immediately instead of waiting until lunch. This is a problem that many night owls face almost every morning. They wake up at around 10 or 11 so that they're too late for breakfast and too early for lunch, which leads them to skip the first meal of the day and overeat during the second. This habit ultimately slows them down because breakfast is there to wake up our metabolism, which is responsible for converting food into usable energy. If our metabolism isn't up and running before that giant lunch, it's just going to make you feel lazy. This skewed eating schedule is also correlated with weight gain, poor concentration, and a lack of productivity. So avoid these negative outcomes by starting every day with a balanced meal. Number 7. Quiet Time For individuals busy with school, work, friends, and family, quiet time can be hard to come by. They're left with little time to think about their lives, goals, and future because they're always needed somewhere. 
but by starting their day an hour or two earlier, they can wake up when the rest of the world is still sleeping opening up daily opportunities to set goals and discover new opportunities. Whether you want to try a new hobby, start a workout routine, or just need some time to think, those relaxing morning hours give you the freedom to do work on bettering yourself. Remember how I said the tone of the whole day is set first thing in the morning? Well, making good use of this quiet time also guarantees that your day will start off stress-free. It won't be long before you notice improvements in performance, decisiveness, and concentration, all thanks to that hour of quiet yet productive free time you earned by waking up early. Thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.